Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video we're going to be doing an unboxing of the October beauty boxes from Target. I don't know why Target's doing two beauty boxes because they're seven dollars a piece and it's like which one am I gonna like better and I feel like I, I liked it better when Target only had one box for seven dollars because then then they're like squeezing out an extra seven from me. What's that? And anyway let's get into this box. So the box is about, you can see how big it is next to my hand. It's kind of like shoe box material. So when I open the box here, it says, Hello Autumn Groove Pumpkin Spice Lattes. So anyway, they've got this nice little card here with a $3 off coupon valid the 8th through the 5th of November. And I love these little $3 off coupons. It's like money towards my favorite beauty products, right? You have to make a beauty purchase of $15 or more. So anyway, I'll be using that for sure. It also gives the list of the different um, beauty products that are in the box. So let's dig in. It's like Christmas. Nice little tissue paper here. This box is a little bit heavy, heavier than the other box. Okay, so the first item that my eyes immediately went to is the Cetaphil Moisturizing Lotion for all skin types, lightweight hydration for everyday use, fragrance free. Oh my word, okay. So if you watch my channel, I talked about a Clinique moisturizer, the, the popular yellow one that Clinique has, and I loved it. And I've been using like a clean and clear one that I may review on this channel, and I'm not in love with it. It's like a gel moisturizer. I like it okay. I'm using it, but Clinique is way better. I'm looking for like a basic moisturizer that is very much akin to what Clinique had with their little yellow moisturizer. So now I'm very curious, can Cetaphil do that for me? I like that it's all skin types. Oh, it says body and face. I don't know if I like the idea that it's body and face, but whatever, we can try it, we can try it lightweight hydration for everyday use. Part of me wants to go back to trying the simple skincare um, lo lotion that they sell because I really liked it, but um, I don't know. I mean, I, I have this for free. I might as well try it and do a review on my channel, which by the way, I'm like at some point soon, I want to do like a favorites of my Target boxes that I've unboxed products that have surprised me that I've actually liked that I didn't think I was going to like kind of thing. Yeah, I want to know how this can compare to that yellow Clinique lotion, so we'll see. Okay, so that's item number one. Ooh, item number two, it's these two bottles, Beauty and Planet. So I'll start with this one first. This is, oh, and they, ha they all have this tape around the outside, and I feel like that's just a marketing tool for this company. It's like the gripper tape, like it's just a tape that you can put around your beauty products. I'm presuming like for traveling, you don't want them to spill or something. So this is coconut water and mimosa flower volume and bounty shampoo, body and strength for fine hair. And my hair is fine. You know, I don't have the fullest, you know, if you look at my hair, it's kind of thin, you know, like I don't have the fullest hair. You see these people on social media and they have like hair for days. I don't know if it's extensions or if it's natural, but I mean, if this shampoo is offering me volume in a bottle, I, I will try this. Build bounce into your hair infused with coconut water. I love me some coconut oil, so maybe coconut water. Same thing, I like coconut water. Lightly moisturizes and leaves hair strong and volumized. Show off lush, bountiful, tresses with an energizing burst of delicate mimosa flower and it says that like they also do things for the planet like they're committed to making the planet more beautiful and you can go to their website to learn about how wow i'm really excited to try this volume and bounty shampoo let's see if it really does everything it says oh my word i need to do a review on this shampoo now because you know hair you know how it is okay so i presume the other bottle was a conditioner, yeah, conditioner. Safe for colored hair, vegan, plant-based detanglers, fast rinse, blah, blah, blah. No dyes, no gilt, parabens and silicones, all that stuff. So that is so exciting. I'm, I'm so excited about this. So far I'm liking this box. The next item is Bliss Makeup Melt Dry Wet Gentle Jelly Cleanser with Rose Flower. 
and I forget who it was on my channel, but somebody had commented that they wanted me to review some of the Bliss products from Target. And I had tried like a cleanser exfoliant from the August Target box and I didn't, I wasn't like thrilled with it. I gave it away to my niece because after like three times of using it, I was just like, meh, this does nothing. I prefer my clean and clear cleansers, but I'm gonna give this one a go says it glides on to dry skin, dissolves makeup. I'm hoping that this is more of a makeup remover. I'm always in the market for a nice makeup remover. It says it only has a six month shelf life. So I love my Dermalogica makeup remover that I have right now. It's really, really good. It's very expensive though. So if this Bliss makeup melt can compare to that, I'll be buying the Bliss makeup melt. So there we are. Next order of business, Olay Total Effects Whip Light as Air Finish Ultimate Nourishment Without Weight Active Moisturizer Fights early signs of aging, uniquely whipped with active moisture to transform, blah blah blah. I have reviewed the Total Effects Eye, eye Treatment Cream. Love that stuff. I am currently using a Burt's Bees eye cream that I really like as well, but I absolutely love the Olay Total Effects eye cream so I'm very curious to see how this compares. It says this restores firmness, helps with dark spots, fine lines and wrinkles, tones and all this stuff so I hope it does everything it says. Last but not least in this box, toothpaste. Whiter teeth in two weeks. Safe for enamel, whitening technology, prevents tartar buildup, clean mint. Well let me know if you notice my teeth looking whiter. I feel like my teeth are pretty good considering how much coffee I drink. I haven't used a whitener on my teeth in so long, so they probably could stand to go a few shades brighter. I mean, how does Tom's of Maine compare to Crest and Colgate is my question. I mean, we, we buy Crest or whatever's on sale, whether it's Colgate or Crest, we buy one of the two. And so I'm just like, how, how does Tom's compare? Is this like an organic? It says here that they have sustainable practices no artificial colors or flavors, maximize recycled content, 5% of employee time is used for volunteering, 10% of profits to human and environmental goodness. Budget is definitely important to our family, so what it's gonna come down to is how much more does this cost than Colgate or Crest. I'll have to see the performance of this product against what I'm currently using as well as the price and kind of weigh it to see if it's worth it. I do like that it does all of that stuff though, so I would like to support it. Comment below, do you guys use Tom's? Is it more expensive, do you know? Let me know all your thoughts and feelings in the comments below. So that was the first box. I was really, really happy with this box, and there I was judging it because it had that camo um, exterior, but no, it was a great box. On to the next box. It has a bunch of these eyeballs shutting and opening and whatnot. So this box feels significantly lighter than the other box. So let's see here. Hello, bright eyes. Feeling tired? What a drag. Looking at two ditto. Oh my word. Yes, I am. I went to bed late last night. I've got kids. I feel like there's not enough hours in the day. Another coupon for $3 off a beauty purchase of $15 or more. And again, it lists the products that are in this box. I like these fall colors that they're using. Okay. The first big product that jumps out at me is this Baoshen Loam. I've never heard of that. It says new product on it. Lumify. Redness reliever eye drops. Works in one minute, lasts up to eight hours. Sometimes my contacts will get dry. I've, I go to theme parks a lot, like living in the Orlando area, and I've had to like stop into like stores around the theme parks and buy the eye drops that they sell in the theme park. So this is really nice that they included this. I can just throw this in my purse. You know, especially having like eyeliner on and if I wanna wear false eyelashes and stuff, you know how like the eyes can get red from all the eye makeup? This is really nice to have to like, you know, Next item of business, Lash Sational. Ooh, very black. I've seen this one around, I'm really excited. This is by Maybelline. I really like Maybelline's mascaras, so I'm very excited about this one. This one is not waterproof, which I hear it's better to not have waterproof because 
um, waterproof like severely can severely dry out your lashes and so this will be a nice way to give my um, eyelashes a break from all the waterproof because I live in Florida and it gets a little rainy so that's why waterproof is good for me but I'm excited about this does anybody use the lastational full fan effect mascara let me know what you think in the comments below I have very like fine lashes next item of business there's this stick it says for eyebrow gels powders and pomades Sonia Kush Kashuk Kashuk brow line plus fill brush with spoolie the brush side evenly applies the color while the spoolie diffuses lines for a natural looking brow oh you always need one of these for your eyebrows I I do have like a like it looks like a mascara type brush I guess that's the that's the spoolie side yeah and I am always combing up my brows for sure because I've always had kind of full brows I have like a lot of these type of products I'm almost tempted to give this to my niece to put in her stocking stuffer you know Christmas is a couple months away so I might put this in her stocking because she's like 14 and just starting to experiment with makeup I'm tempted to keep it for myself but stocking stuffer you guys covergirl liquid liner get in line major matte black I don't think I have a liquid liner right now so this will be nice feather fine tip for a fine line long-lasting quick dry formula removes with soap and water okay well maybe I'll have to wear this on my channel for you guys maybe do a little review let you know what I think then we have a cure so this is a radically rejuvenating under eye hydro gel cucumber and silk tree age performance vegan help rejuvenate with cucumber and Persian silk tree keep in the fridge for a cooling boost and say hello to deep hydration so it's like a gel eye mask there very nice I feel like they really uh, hooked you up with uh, the eye area here that is really cool so comment below let me know what of the products uh, excited you the most if there's any reviews of any particular products that were featured in this video that you would like to see me do except for this guy I think I'm gonna give him to my uh, to my niece for Christmas once again I am very happy and pleased with the value that was in these boxes for $14 all of those products to try so be on the lookout on my channel for a favorites video and I'll be sure to include a couple of products that have been featured in some of the target boxes so if you're looking to get one of the October boxes I hope this video was helpful in helping you decide which one or both or whatever you want to get maybe as a gift for someone else or even for yourself don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more target unboxings or other beauty reviews or whatever beauty topics we might talk about on this channel like this video if you liked it share this video if you think it would benefit somebody else and have a great rest of the week bye everyone